Hey there and welcome to another video. Now in today's video we're going to be looking at the KZEDX versus the QKZ AK6. Yes, took me a while to master. It's a tongue twister really. KZEDX, QKZ AK6 or QKZ AK6 depending on how you pronounce it. Now both IMs are entry level IMs that are made for the general public. As a result, since they're entry level, they are very, very affordable. Now, the KZEDX is the more popular option where I live. Now, as a consequence of both IEMs being entry level, they only have one big dynamic driver ish. Now, I have made a video, actually, several videos, I think two or three, uh, on the subject of IEMs and also a blog post. So, I'm going to leave links in the description as well as in the comments. And on the top of your screen as this video goes along so let's let's get on with the video the use of dynamic drivers you know causes both IMs to give out heavy bass audio and the marketing companies of or rather the marketing teams of both companies have run along with this tag hence both IMs are called bass champions or something to that effect so in the battle of the bass champions which IM is going to come out on top Let's move on to the unboxing. Now, unboxing the QKZ AK6 is a very bland affair in my educated opinion. Now, whilst I like its simplicity and straight to the point nature, I very much prefer the unboxing of the KZ EDX here. You want to know why? I mean, from the unboxing of the KZ EDX, you can tell how much effort was put in by, you know, the product development and management team. It doesn't feel as if you're unboxing an entry level IEM. Of course not. It's a rather should I say a more premium unboxing experience for a rather cheap IEM. Now from there on we're going to move to the build quality, looks and designs. Now both IEMs are very well made and very well molded to fit in ear. Now this helps them to achieve really really good sound isolation. Now, that's passive noise cancellation. Now when it comes to looks I cannot honestly tell which one is better. They both look really good in my opinion. But I do have one huge problem with the QKZ AK6. Its cables are fused into the IEM. Now the, the KZ EDX on the other hand uses detachable cables. Now this means that you can replace the cables of the KZ EDX if they go bad with a new cable or you can simply even go wireless with a Bluetooth adapter. You know, you get the best of both worlds, both wired and wireless with the KZ EDX. This is not possible with the QKZ AK6 based on the way it is built. So points go to the KZ EDX on this one. Now when it comes to the ease of use, both IMs are simply plug and play, but you know, they have wires essentially. So you know, wires are going to restrict the way you move around or the way you use like these listening devices. But let's go on. The KZ EDX, since its cables are replaceable, it feels as though KZ puts, you know, less efforts into making them. They look rather thin and then they tangle very easily, especially when you drop it in your bag and then you want to get it out. It's, it's, it tangles really. But the QKZ AK6 on the other hand doesn't tangle as easily and looks thicker and, you know, probably better well made. Now, maybe they did this because, you know, you've, you've, only, you've only got the option to use one cable with the QKZ AK6. If the cable goes bad, then forget it, your IEM is done. So maybe that's why they put a lot more effort into the cable. You never know. Now, whilst this is true, the KZ ADX should get props for its detachable cables, which means, like I said, like Avelia said, you can swap, you know, your older cables for newer ones, or you can just simply go for a Bluetooth adapter. Now, next up, we're going to have the sound test and the mic test. So you tell me which one you prefer in the comments. Um, I'm testing the audio for the KZ EDX. Uh, mostly, this is how you're going to put it on when you want to make calls. Let me step back a bit. 
So how does it sound? Uh, let me bring the mouthpiece up now. How does it sound now? Does it sound okay? Let me know in the comments. Alright, this one is for the uh, QKZ AK6. Tell me what you think. Uh, how does it sound? Because normally this is how you're going to put it on. Let me bring the mouthpiece up. Um, how does it sound now? Alright, let me know in the comments too. Alright now, so which one did you prefer? Um, personally, personally, here is my verdict. Personally, I believe that the KZ EDX is louder, not by much, not by much, but it is louder and it offers a lot more punchy sound output than the QKZ AK6. The QKZ AK6 is overwhelmingly bass and sometimes the bass tends to drown out like the other sounds, you know, the higher, um, the higher pitch sounds, the bass tends to drown it out. So I think that's one point that I would give to the KZ EDX. Also, another point is that you can swap cables on the KZ EDX compared to like the non-swappable, non-removable cables on the QKZ AK6. And then finally, pricing. Now both of them are actually like very close in terms of pricing. On AliExpress, you can get a, a, KZ, a standard KZ EDX for around $7.6 at $7 and 60 cents excluding shipping whilst the qkz ak6 is cheaper at six dollars and 36 cents so depends on you really if depends on what you want personally personally i mean whilst i like the kz uh whilst i like the qkz ak6 i beg your pardon i think i would be willing to you know to drop the extra dollar or the extra amount on top just to get you know all of the goodies that the uh, KZ EDX offers and so with that we've come to the end of another video if you like this video please like subscribe and share this i will see you in the next one bye bye